What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Ilisic or Ilisic Ilisic, I think it is called. I think that's what his name is. He is a five-star, four-star. He's gonna be an interesting one, you know, because we've got the Serie A squad. We've got actually some really nice players coming from it. And I'm interested with this one. He's always been a goal scorer for me, and most definitely he is more of a kind of center forward cam than he is a striker or at least a solo striker at the best. We have got obviously uh, kind of two other players playing up top with him um, in terms of how he how I play in the game so it's going to be interesting but he is left footed six foot three like I said a five star four star is incredible and the question of today is what is your best icon you have ever packed random out the blue like subscribe let's get into the review so in terms of traits we've got finesse shot outside of the foot and flare absolutely fantastic in terms of stats we've got 78 pace which is obviously where the engine steps in shooting wise looks really good top level most definitely um passing again that's what i mean center forward cam is going to fit him absolutely down to a t dribbling wise good good agility balance could do with some work as obviously the engine will do that reactions is okay ball control and dribbling fantastic decent composure strength not awful, stamina, a little bit lacking, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that one. But it looks a relatively round and nice, solid card. He's going to be one of more of a kind of hold-up player up front, so it's going to be an interesting one. Let's jump in and see if he's worth 27,000 coins. It is sick, it is sick. Ah, oh, good tackle from Varane. Foden nearly winning it back. Bellingham knocks it through. That's a stunning ball into Ilisic. He's going to come onto his left foot. Big shot across and Lloris with a massive, massive save there. Picks it up and with a beautiful ball, Ilisic into Sterling. Goes across. We've, we absolutely screwed that fake shot, but Ilisic with a great, great assist through there. Little bit of Bellingham run. He's going to find him back. He's through. Can we go for a left foot across? What on earth was that keeping? Ilisic, little touch, one more touch, right foot across, and that is what the four star does for you. To Ilisic, he's gonna find Hatabower, his teammate in, gonna go for the little little uh, fake shot, but Dest is gonna take it away. Oh, does win it back. A little bit of a five star move. Okay, wrong way. Always nice start, and we get tackled. That's what you get for overplaying sometimes. Straight into Ilisic's feet. I want to see a little bit of a run from him. Little dink over. Fakir's going to get it. It's going to be a finesse round of keeper, and that is always going to be a banging goal. We see him here. This is going to be the downfall of him there, is not necessarily being able to get on the run, but then obviously the strength is kind of the 50-50 the as, as you will. Will he keep the ball? Will he not? Will he be able to kind of do with a tackle? It's a great challenge by Gomez. But I think with me, it, it's not about just kind of running forward with him. It's about holding the ball, and that sometimes is part of the game as well, being able to kind of have that little bit of i don't know a bit of time to be able to hold the ball a little bit more just because of his strength is going to be absolutely wonderful up front but then also be the downfall because a lot of the time we do tend to go into the trap of just running running forward keep running when you've got the likes of someone like sterling here this is what you want in your striker you want him just to be able to to just notch it off get the little chip and obviously it's going to def defend it to some extent but not really so going into the overall four illicit then honestly not a bad card the problem you've got with him is a little bit too bulky um, in terms of a solo striker is not going to work. You're going to have to have a partner with him of some description. You're going to need somebody who's quick to be able to play off him because his hold of play is very nice. He's six foot three. He's built. He's got the control and he's a very nice passer of the ball. Obviously, the short passing coming in at 88 on the base is fantastic. But if you've got no one to pass to, then he's going to be rendered useless. You're going to have to kind of hit and hope and hope the defenders just don't manage to tackle him, which you can do. Um, I'm not saying you can't. Uh, most definitely, the engine is is needed. It's 100% needed. You've got to have some pace increase on that 79 each. But then you've also got to have um, that agility balance, just making sure it's in tip-top condition. And I think Ilisic is one of them ones that 
does tend to get a few de decent specials, as we've seen through the years. Managing always to get himself into team of the season at the very minimum. Last year was the kind of lowest rated we've seen from him, but hopefully we can rectify that again this year. He is a not, a, not a bad player as such um, in terms of his rating and obviously what he's going to come in as a price. More than likely, he's going to be completely on the floor, ready to be picked up for mainly fodder use. But I think what you've got um, going on in terms of Serie A is a lot of nice specials. So obviously, if we take away the heroes because A, they are quite expensive or at least uh, Milito is not coming in too bad now but in terms of kind of like you've got your Pedro who's left wing you've got yourself your Dzeko who again is very much like Ilicic in um, he isn't necessarily the quickest player but has a very good shot on him Vidal's coming in now with a UCL knockout we've got Tonali we've got Lozano we've got Oshiman who is probably actually quite a nice partner with him but he may be a little bit too tall you might want somebody who's a little bit smaller to kind of be going against them but you've got a really nice kind of a Serie A squad builder coming on now. You've got quite a few informs, quite a lot of specials, so it's an interesting kind of turn to see what you can actually do with this. Obviously, uh, Chesney as well getting in as the team of the week. It's just not a bad position for Serie A at the moment. I think to start with, with obviously losing Ronaldo, losing a few other key players, and not necessarily knowing where the walkout kind of situation is going, it's nice to now see that Serie A is already starting to form a very nice special team. Whereas I think Ilicic is coming in somewhere there, but I think once you kind of get the likes of Lautaro, you get Dybala in forms, you then get Oshiman even more informed you're going to then start to see him disappear a little bit more. And I can't imagine a lot of people playing with him, but as a squad builder, as someone to, to kind of finish objectives or just to genuinely have fun with a different Serie A, maybe you've got him untradeable, then he isn't a bad player to put on the pitch, good at passing, holds the ball up well, has a fantastic shot if you can get it off. And he is a five-star, four-star, which is probably literally mad. I don't even remember him being that last year. I'm interested actually now. Has he had the upgrade? He's a 4-4 last year, so he's had the, uh, the five-star added, which is absolutely mental. But for me, I think he is he's not a bad card. He's definitely got work to do and definitely still needs a couple of upgrades. But he isn't a bad card overall. I think if I was looking at kind of a rating to put him at, I think I'd have to go somewhere along the lines of a 7.5, maybe a little bit higher on a good day. But I'm going to stick with 7.5. Let me know down below what you think about him. Like and subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.